Good morning. God bless you this morning, and God keep you this morning. And thank you for tuning me once again. Praise God. Are you all out there ready to? Are you all ready to go give God and glory and praise today? I hope so. You know, not just because the day is Sunday, but you give Him praise and the thanks and the glory all the time. Amen, somebody. I just want to read a little bit out of Psalm seventy-four. You know how people be all uh, asking God why this or why that. Why you reject this? Why this? And you know, just this is a psalm of Asper. You know, it talks about, uh, well, I'm gonna read it. You know, um, we ask God why this, why this happened, then especially to your own, why this and why that. You know, because you know, I almost want to just say something right quick. You know, you ask God for things, you know, because you want something, and when you want something, you ask Him not to pray, not do all these things. And but when it goes the other way around, it's like, okay, what did God first tell you to do? What he what did He want you to do? You don't want to do, you don't want to obey, you don't want to um, uh, obey by his word, you don't want to meditate day and night, you don't want to love others, you don't want to share, you don't want to forgive, you don't want to do all these things, but you want to ask God why this and why that. And then when you want something, you pray and ask God, you know, for what you want. But it's like, what do you think God wants? What do you think he wants? You know, it's like it goes both ways, just like in a relationship. You know, you give, you give, you doing it, doing that. You know, go both ways. You expect somebody to do for you also. Go both ways. You know, it's not just going on one way. It's the same with God. He want it's on. This is on a two leather, two 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 way street. You know, I wake y'all wake you up this morning. You can't thank me. You can't bless me. I bless you with the food and clothes and and transportation. Whether if it's a bus, you be thank God. You know, to ride the bus. You know, be thankful. You can't give him a time of the day. And you ain't been going to the house of the Lord for at least three hours. But you can go show up at your work or your workplace if you have a job for eight hours or more. Come on now. God ain't asking for much. You like on the side, he only asked for 10%. You keep denying he asked for 10%. You can't even do that. Come on now, somebody. Talk to me. Hey, Amen. But I'm just going to read uh, Psalm 74. It says, Oh God, why have you rejected us so long? Why is anger... To it says, why is anger so intense against the sheep of your own pastors? Remember that we are the people you choose long ago. The tribe you redeem as your own special possession. And remember Jerusalem, your home here on earth. Walk through the awful. Walk through the awful. Walk through the awful ruin of the city. See how the enemy has destroyed your sanctuary. There your enemies shouted their victory. Battle cries. There they set up their battle standard. They swung their axes like wood cutters in the forest. With axes and picks, they smashed the crave paneling. They burned your sanctuary to the ground. They defiled the place that bears your name. Then they thought, let's destroy everything. So they burned down all the places where God was worshipped. You know, you hear it around the world, you know, somebody burned up the church or did something crazy to the, to the building. You know, but the church is supposed to be us. The church is supposed to be in us. we supposed to be the church. The building is just the building. And we see like some things not going right then. You're not being worshipped right then. You know, not being the way that God wanted to be the way it's supposed to be. Sometimes God will allow things to get towed down. Sometimes, you know, he works in that aspect too because the church is supposed to be us. we supposed to be the church. Um, you're not supposed to be going to the house of the Lord to be, uh, you know, disrespecting the house of God and being rude and, you know, and bringing all that world away into the house. You know, when God supposed to have changed you, you know, you come up with all that junk and all that trash and dropping the light of the house and shaking and dancing and all that kind of stuff like you still out there in the world and doing these other crazy stuff that God didn't ever did call you to do. He didn't say, do them things. Um... Uh, Verse 9, it says, We no longer see your miraculous signs. All the prophets are gone, and no one can tell us when it will end. How long, O oh God, will you allow our enemies to insult you? Will you let them dishonor your name forever? Why do you hold back your strong right hand? Unleash your powerful first. He said, I made for fists. Release your powerful fists and destroy them. You, O oh God, all my king from ages past, bringing salvation to the earth. You split the sea by your strength and smashed the head of the sea monster. You crushed the head 
of Levithan and let the des uh, let the desert anim animals eat him. You call the spring and stream to gush forth, and you dry up rivers that never run dry. Both day and night belong to you. You made the starlight and the sun. You set the boundaries on the earth, and you made both summer and winter. And that's all from the book of Acts chapter 17 and verse 26. Next verse says, See how these enemies insult you. Lord, O oh foolish nation, has dishonored your name. Like I was saying, people bringing all that junk in, 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 in the house of the Lord. You know, dishonoring God. It's like they don't care. Like, who you think you are? What are you doing? They ain't nothing but the devil. Kill. He, 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 he just here to kill, steal, and destroy. Do whatever he want to do. You know, then if, you know, it takes a real leader to step up and say, no, we're not going to have that here. You know, but they allow it. They, they, they look at it. They think it's everything okay. They think it's everything is fine with it. And it's really not. Not with God, it's not. And then wonder why things happen and when the wonder why things go on and, and God allow things to happen. You don't cause things to be destroyed. Next verse says, Don't let these wild beasts destroy your turtle dog. Don't forget your suffering people forever. Remember your covenant promise for the land is full of darkness and violence. Don't let the down Jordan be humiliated again. Instead, let the poor and needy praise your name. Arise, O oh God, and defend your cause. Remember how these fools insult you all day long. Don't overlook what your enemy have said or their growing uproars. And that's also in the uh, book of Psalm 65 and verse 7. It's like, it's, you know, every time, I, every time I read Psalm 74, or like I just shared it with you, reading this thing, this man, this picture, this picture around the world, what's going on right now today? You know, uh, get on the internet sometimes. Look, see what's going on. You can just read and see what they're doing and how they're doing it in the church and everything, and you know, and they're just going for the wrong thing. You know, uh, all that, and then you wonder why man won't the one man, and wonder why man loves to be rough. They, 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 the man there, the devil there in church too. They the lust and do what they do what they do like they was out there in the in the streets, you know. Uh, you're tempting them, you're tempting them, you know, to do these crazy things. I mean, they're supposed to be all delivered from all these kinds of stuff, you know. But they bring all that junk and that trash inside of the house of the Lord, knowing, you know. I mean, it's like somebody's gonna look, somebody's gonna like it. They might not say nothing, but somebody's going to like it, you know. And it's wrong. It's wrong, you know. I mean, it's just like wow. I'm like looking to seeing different things, you know, everything that I see and, 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 and make glance or read about, I don't believe everything I hear, I don't believe everything I see, because I know a lot of people put stuff on YouTube and use stuff and use people in their own way to uh, try to hurt somebody or try to bring some down, body down, or want you to uh, feel, uh, uh, have a different, you know, attitude or a different, um, uh, I don't know, different, you know, uh, feelings about that person or, or what, the, what they do with their life, such as uh, somebody says, uh, somebody said a minister, uh, somebody said Crawford Dollar had a, uh, he had a sex with six girls, six girls, that mean apparently six girls, they, they not, they wasn't grown. They said that Crawford Dollar had sex with six girls, you know, I'm like, really, to myself, and then you do your own research and look and look and look and look, kind of find out that's not true. You're like, wow, why would this person say these things about somebody, you know, to try to tear that person down just because they've been exposed once, twice, or three times before on CNN, line, or whatever you want to call it. That doesn't mean they're doing other things like that because I know some preachers do do them too, do them things too. But not everybody don't do them things. Everybody got their own different, you know, issues, and they big, they, 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 they uh, backslide and they fall short in life. You know, but wow, it's like, why would this person even put that on there saying this? And you know, I'm just making a point saying stuff like that, you know, then you have me almost believing it. And I'm like, no, it can't be. It can't be to myself. I keep on looking and watching the panel. I don't hear nothing else. No, no, nowhere, nowhere else nobody talking about it. You know, like they were doing before on him, you know, when he had did something, you know, in his own household about his daughter. You know, whether it's true or not, you know, uh, to be, uh, 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 softer or punched or whatever, or threw over the table, whether it's true or not. 
you know, something like that's going to be counted over and over. It's going to be on CNN. It's going to be on a uh, uh, Polish report. It's going to be on, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, you know, you can just you listen. You see these things, different things. But you know, I said, I don't want to believe everything else. Here, and I don't believe everything what somebody said. You know, because anybody can put stuff on YouTube and just say this person did, this person did it, you know, blah, 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 because they, they got their own issue. And that's what the devil also, too. If the devil is just trying to kill, steal, and destroy, and try to always bring somebody down. That's what the devil do. So anyway, uh, it's, I was trying to make my point there. You know, as I read, you know, as I say, I was reading 74, Psalm 74. You know, it's like, you wonder why God allowed these things to happen. You, live, you, you wonder why things happen in your life because God allowed these things. Whether it's sickness or, or something going on. God always say somebody's always watching somebody anyway. You know, watching what they're doing, what watching what they got. You know, I always say, I don't care what people, I don't care what ministers and preachers and teachers, I don't care what they have, what they buy, whatever they do, they do. You know, I'm not here for to uh, uh, talk about somebody, whatever they got, whether it's a jet, plane, money, house, or whatever, boat, whatever, how much money. I'm not even into all that. Whatever they do, they do. Because they can't take it with them anyway. So it's like, I'm interested in the Word, yeah, you know, and, and that's what a lot of people need to be focused on, on the Word of God. On the word of God, or whatever they do, so you feel somebody telling you wrong, ask God to give you wisdom and not understand. No for yourself. Ask God for yourself, for you. And not by being somebody else follow. Don't follow the world. Don't follow the uh, the people because they said so. But follow Jesus. He only one can bring you through. But the man or lady can say anything. They can switch anything up. You know, they can say the one to say, but they're not living the by. It's like, wow, you're going to tell somebody these things. You're not living by the word of God yourself. That's wrong, too. So it's like study and meditate on the on your on on, on, on the word of God for yourself. Whatever you don't know, you whatever you understand, ask God to give you wisdom and not understanding. And not being a follower to somebody else. If you want to be a follower, follow Jesus. Follow what he wants you to do. Start in the world, start in the world. This is what this this is the book. It started in the world. This is the church here. It started in the book. This is the church. This is where the church started at the book. Church don't start just going to the building. This is church right here. Start in your heart. The word starts in your heart. Amen, somebody. God bless you. Thank you for tuning on me once again. Praise God. I'm pray for each and every last one of you. In spite of whatever you're going through, I don't know what you're going through. All I know is God, he will bring you out. He see you going through, he will bring you out one way or another. Hallelujah. Yes, he will. Because I believe that. If you believe it, he will do it for you too. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, pray for those watching. God bless you today. And God keep you. Pray the Lord lead you and guide you. And protect you going in and going out. And I pray you will meditate on the world day and night. And I pray you ask God to give you wisdom and not understanding. And be his follower. Not no man and no woman follower. Be Jesus follower. That's what he wants. He wants you to follow him. And I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you would do it. Get understanding in the word. That the church starts in the word. Start, start, the church starts within you. In Jesus name. And I pray for one that's sick. I pray for the one that may not be feeling good. I pray the Lord is healing himself wherever they hurt. Healing himself wherever they pain him. And by his strike, you are healed and you are well if you believe in Jesus' name. No matter what the doctor said, you may hear some bad report, got some bad report, but I got a good report. I got some good news that God loves you and you is you healed and he wants you well. He wants you to live in Jesus' name. And you tell that devil, get back, get up out of your body, get up out of your head, get up out of your mind in the mighty name of Jesus. But you must go on, stay strong, stay up, keep your hope, don't give up hope and don't give up faith. Because God love you. And I serve a faithful God. Hallelujah. He wants you to be faithful. In Jesus name. And trust him. And believe in him that he will do. All that he said he will do. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 In Jesus name. Amen. Glory be to God. Thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus for the healing. Thank you Lord for whatever you have uh, blessed me with. That's what somebody to be thinking. Saying. Thinking and saying. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me with the thing which you have blessed me with. Don't even worry about what you don't got, but thank God for what you do have. Amen, somebody. So until next time, remember, God loves you, and so do I. Take care and have a wonderful, blessed day. And don't let the devil steal your, uh, uh, your joy today or no day. In Jesus' name, stay up and do your dues. Don't worry about the don't. In Jesus' name, see you later next time. Your God stay the same.